All right, now for putting the lower extrusion uh, body together with these two feet and the main body, we'll use four of these metal corner brackets. We'll use eight of these short M6 by 12 screws, as well as eight M6 washers. So we'll take the screw, put a washer on them, and we'll feed them through here. Uh, we'll also need, of course, eight of our T-nuts. We'll put the, a T-nut on the end here. I like to put all the T-nuts on the corner pieces before putting them in the extrusion. You can put them in the extrusion and then put the T-nuts on. I just find it a little harder to find the T-nuts once they're in like that. We'll take our other M6 by 12, put it on here, put it through the bracket, take our T-nut, feed it on. Uh, you want to make sure you don't over tighten these or you'll have a hard time fitting, the fitting them in the extrusion. Um, I've already done this for the remaining four brackets, exactly the same. Then we can take these and just make a note of where your feet are. This is how it will actually look when it's assembled. So that means we're going to want to put the corner brackets on this face of the extrusion. So I'll take my corner bracket, align the T-nut so that it'll fit through the extrusion, put it in here, and slide it in. I'll put another T-nut, uh, another corner bracket to meet up with this. Again, I'll line up this T-nut, match it into the extrusion profile, and put it in. So I will typically take these, just snug up these bolts a little bit so that they're uh, not so loose, but still slide on this assembly. Same thing here. Just tighten it up so that it isn't so loose, but still slides. And now that we have these two pieces, we're going to feed them onto this. So again, this is the final orientation. So we'll take this piece. I would normally um, do this on a flat surface where uh, I'm, I'm right-handed. So I'd do it this way, where I'd put a finger on the bolt here, align the T-nut, and then feed it into the extrusion like that. So again, you can see that we're just lining up the nut with that extrusion piece. Uh, this can be a little tricky because you sort of have to do both of these pieces at the same time. I'll try to show um, how I would do this. It can be a little tricky. So we'll get both of them. I usually use uh, a finger on the nut to help me out with that. Uh, I have one engaged now. I'll try and get the other guy in. There we go. And now we can slide it all the way in. This is where we're going to want to center this um, along the length here. So these are... Uh, 12 inch sections, so six inch in the middle. Uh, I'll use my mat here for reference. And again, I wouldn't tighten these up all the way. Um, we can leave that for the next step, but I'll just put them uh, finger tight here so that they don't come out as we do the other side. So again, feed these on here, uh, getting this gap lined up, and we'll feed this one on from the other side, paying attention to where our feet are and where we want these brackets relative to them. I'll put it in the side here, tighten it up just so it's not too loose, but we can still move it around. And now we will uh, get, I think, what is probably the trickiest alignment, which is getting these pieces uh, when you have to do two at a time. So I'll get the first one lined up here, and I'll bring the second one over and try to get that one in there as well. So now that we have uh, both of them in but loose, this is where we sort of want to tighten everything up, make sure it's square. Uh, so I'll do this side. Uh, if everything is, if you tighten this before you get everything together, uh, often what happens is you can kind of get a, a twist, and then it will kind of rock a little bit when it's set, seated. Um, so just get it on a flat surface, and we can tighten all of these fasteners up. Do the same for this side. All right. 
And there we go. We can slide these pieces right up against the back. And we have the base of our extrusion complete.